Hi there, March has now come and gone and we are moving on to April. And if you're looking for something new and exciting to watch this month, today we have you covered, with many great suggestions ranging from horror films to our beloved superheroes, from artsy independent productions to animated stop-motion comedies. The first film you should be watching in April is Shazam, the latest film in the DC Extended Universe and based on the comic book character of the same name. Although the protagonist may have the usual superhero look, with bulky muscles and the super suit, saving the day while radiating confidence, in reality, he is is a teenage boy. So he has to take on his responsibilities as a superhero, but while tackling all the issues a person has to deal with at 15. So compared to the latest films based on DC Comics, which had a much darker and ominous look, such as Batman vs Superman, Justice League, The Dark Knight Trilogy, Suicide Squad, Shazam appears to be more cheerful, with a ton of comedy and hilarious situations. The next superhero film on this list is one you'll probably already know about, Avengers Endgame, the latest film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and which everybody has been desperate to see after the emotional roller coaster of Avengers Infinity War. It's always hard to speak about Marvel films because of the countless number of spoilers that could be triggered, so let's just say that Endgame is set in what is left after the events of Infinity War with Avengers and their allies trying to bring the situation back to normality. If instead of superhero films you're looking for something a little more on the horror side, The Curse of La Llorona has you covered. This film is based on Latin American folklore and the legend of a ghost, La Llorona, who cries for for her dead children affecting those nearby who become her victims. This film is highly anticipated as it brings back the suspenseful horror of films such as Insidious and The Conjuring, while also introducing us to a legend which we might not all be familiar with. The Curse of La Llorona is produced by James Wan, the mastermind who worked on all the biggest horror films of the 21st century, including all the Saw movies. Fun fact, he then also directed very different projects such as Furious 7 and Aquaman. Coming up next on the list is Under the Silver Lake, which should have been released a whole year ago, but which after being pushed back several times and having smaller releases in Belgium, France, Spain, it will finally be released in the United States on April 19th. Under the Silver Lake is produced and distributed by A24, a small independent company which has been changing all rules in the world of cinema, but they've been able to use smaller resources to create mammoth works like 8th Grade, Hereditary, First Reformed, Lady Bird, The Disaster Artist, as well as Moonlight. Remember, the film that beat La La Land at the Oscars when there was the famous envelope mistake. Under the Silver Lake will star Andrew Garfield investigating the mysterious disappearance of his neighbour while digging up some larger information on conspiracy theories. After seeing the previous success of A24 films, we can't wait to watch this one. Animation-wise, this month we have Missing Link, a stop-motion film with a stellar cast of actors who range from Hugh Jackman to Zoe Saldana and Zach Galifianakis. It covers the discovery of a legendary character, Mr. Link, who is somewhere between between a human being and a more primitive ape, creating a comedy-packed adventurous story. In the last year, stop-motion animation has been highly successful, with Wes Anderson's Isle of Dogs even being nominated for an Oscar, and audiences rushing to watch many popular films like Early Man, Shaun the Sheep, Cooper and the Two Strings, and Paranorman, created by the same director of Missing Link. As for TV series, there are heaps of choices in April. If you're a Netflix fan, Sabrina the Witch is back for the second part of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. But we know what you're all most excited about is the eighth season of Game of Thrones, the drama slash fantasy TV series which has had millions glued to the screen and which has rolled in countless awards. And what are you watching this month? Let us know with a comment down below.